Fox is back in the studio. How long was the trip there compared to how long did it feel driving back? Oh, it felt so much longer driving back. Let me tell you, with a night of, you know, barely any sleep in a haunted house with ghosts, you know, lurking around. Oh, the drive back was miserable. You seem exhausted. It was bad. Did you and your cousin switch off driving? Yeah. Did the other one sleep while the person drove? Uh, I slept for like an hour and he didn't sleep at all. Like he was just like, I can't sleep in the car. So yep. even though when he wasn't driving, he was just because he drank like three energy drinks, <laughs> uh, those NOS energy drinks. And so he's like, I can't sleep. You get home and there was a little drama at the house. Yeah, I get home and I sit down. And I'm home for like 10 minutes. And my wife was on the phone and she gets off the phone. And she goes, hey, can you go pick up baby box from daycare? And I'm like, are you serious? I just got off the road for like 12 hours I was driving. I've driven 24 hours in the past 36 hours, and you want me to get back on the road? She goes, I, I got to make dinner. I mean, A, you couldn't have dinner made and then go get them? I, I couldn't believe it. I, it was a little bit of a fight at our house because I was already exhausted, and she wanted me to get back in the car and go get baby box. <laughs> Did you get back in the car and Come go on. get baby box? Come on. No. What? You didn't. No. So who got it? Got she him. got him. He stayed there. <laughs> she got him? She got him. Did she make dinner and get baby box? No, then she picked up dinner. She wimped out on that part. Okay. Are you guys good now? We're good now. But I was just like, I can't believe you're asking me to get back in the car. She goes, well, I, I mean, I was being a mom while you were gone. You, that doesn't mean That's you can't. You, you don't have to be a dad when yeah, you get back. That's exactly point. right. Although he spent all, he's exa exhausted so providing... She for both of them. Yeah. She's exhausted no, no, no. from No, his money's his kid. money, remember. Her money's her money. He makes money for him, not That's her. That's true. Dang, I was on your side till yeah. I forget you keep your own money and she keeps her own money and you guys fight about that. We don't fight him. There's no fight about the money. That's the great thing about having your own money. You don't have to fight about it. If you keep it separate, there is no fight. When you put it together and she spends it and you're like, "Wait a minute. Why did you spend my money?" That's where the fight happens. So then you're not tech, you're not like the breadwinner like you like to oh, be. Oh, no, no. I am. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, she makes her that, own money and Yeah, you're, it's but I, I play a bigger I pay a bigger percentage because she knows I make more than her. Okay. That's if That's, he pays a bigger percentage. Yep. I'm not on his side. I'm just <laughs> I have to lean into one side of the argument. Uh, and I would say if he pays more of it, that he would be considered, if someone is considered the breadwinner. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be a breadwinner considered in my house or my relationship. Oh, there is. <laughs> Everybody knows who the breadwinner I mean, that's what people look at. When they see, when they meet a couple, they're like, oh, I wonder who the breadwinner bread 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 even is. Yeah, that's a weird yeah. term. Okay. The person that brings home the bacon, whatever you want to call it. The bacon? Why is it always a food uh, analogy? <laughs> The person who saves the pimento cheese, you know. <laughs> Everybody knows. Like, every... Where did these things come from? But I... he's saying that every time you meet a couple, you think, like, all right, out of the two, which one's the breadwinner? Have you ever thought that? No, I think there's a pants wearer, and Caitlin's the pants wearer in our relationship oh, That's now. different. Yes. That has nothing to do with money. Yeah. yeah. She makes the rules. And I abide by them. <laughs> yeah. I try to. Uh, oh, so, but everything's good now? Everything's good. We're good. We, we slept kissed, in the same bed. We slept in the same bed, you know, kissed and made up. Okay. That's about it. Uh, here's some recordings that Lunchbox brought to us from the murder house. Some of these tasks we assigned him to do when he gets to this place, he swears is haunted. We said, first, introduce yourself to the spirits and let them know that you mean no harm. Okay, we got this. Positive, positive. Mm. Oh, okay. <sighs> Hello, spirits. My name is Lunchbox. And Andrew. And uh, we uh, mean no harm. We are just coming tonight to be with you and spend the night in your house. And we want to respect you. And we hope you respect us. And remember that co with COVID, we need six feet <laughs> apart. And uh, we are going to hopefully with your permission, we would like permission to take pictures. Pictures. Why do you keep yeah, Because I'm nervous, guys. Like, pictures? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And that creaking door was when that's the front door when you, you walk in. You know they purposely make that door creak. They can't get some WD 40 on yeah, that. Yeah, come, oh, come on. People are spending money to stay there. You can't get a little. Tss -tss. <laughs> Woo! Just spray it on a hinge. It's easy. Okay. Lunchbox tells a ghost joke to see if any ghost or anyone would laugh. Here you go. Why do ghosts hate the rain? 
it dampens their spirits. No, no laughter. No laughter. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> Woo. Another question that we pose to Lunchbox is, would you sing the Ghostbusters song but pause when they're supposed to say Ghostbusters back? For example, Eddie, you be the ghost. Yes. And there's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Right, that's the callback. We wanted to see if they would do the callback. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? That's when you guys say Ghostbusters. We're going to try it one more time. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Nope. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Something strange in your neighborhood. When it came time to sleep, LB's cousin bails and says he's not spending the night at the house. Let me hear this. Wait, wait. You're going to leave me in here? Yeah. Where are you going to sleep? I'll sleep in the barn. Why didn't you tell me this before we got here? I thought 90% of my job was driving you here. <laughs> <laughs> driving you here and getting you back. Helping out with that. I didn't think it was because you needed me to sleep in here. Oh, you think I wanted to sleep by myself? Probably safer if I'm in next door in case <laughs> something happens. If we're both in. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how it works, huh? <laughs> Where did he end up sleeping? Oh, he slept in the house. You got him? Yeah. I mean, he tried to bail. He was trying to, like, set it up like, oh, no, 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 if something goes down, it's better to be separated. How is that possible? No, we need two people to fight something off. At 3.30 a.m., something fell from a shelf, and it startled Lunchbox. Okay, it's like 3.30 in the morning. I'm, I'm laying down on the floor. I'm going to try to close my eyes. I'm stressed out. It's been a long night. Oh my gosh, I hope none of these guys, I hope I fall asleep. I am so freaking tired. Oh my God, oh my God. That something fell off one of the counters. What the, was that? <laughs> come on. <laughs> you, who are you trying How to come trick? On. You to swipe that yeah. off oh, here. <laughs> See, this is why I don't it. believe it's haunted. Oh my God. That was obviously a plant. That was a plant swipe. I don't understand. You guys were not in that house. There was no- I'm in the middle of the living room floor. There is no counter around me. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, it's easy for you guys to act all tough. Oh, that's nothing. Go in that house in the pitch dark at 3.30 in the morning and have something fall. What uh -oh. fell? What, yeah, was, what that? was that? I don't know. It was sounded like it was right next to you. It was Andrew's so. wallet chain, his cousin. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, what it sounded like, like that. His, all right, and here we go. And the, the closer. Lunchbox found a mirror. And said Candyman yes. three times. All right, here we go. For some reason, he covered the mirrors when he did his crime, so they cover him. <sighs> Candyman, <laughs> Candyman, Candyman. <laughs> Anything? Not nothing happened then. Oh. Wouldn't oh. that have been the time for something to fall? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, what's your takeaway now that you've had a day to be home? Man, it's just freaky. Like, there's just something on, in that house. There's there's spirits, ghosts, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what people were telling me. There's orbs. I don't even know what an orb is, but there's something in that house. I'm telling there. It is a weird thing. Things happen. Unexplained things happen, and I don't ever want to go back. But go ahead, guys. I mean, you guys are so tough. Eddie, you're next. Go ahead. I'm good. All right, Gabby Woo! Barrett. I hope Bobby Bones show. But you have changed since you got back. Your eye color's different. Wow. Really? You're an inch taller. Everything's weird about lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs>